Hey guys, what's going on? It's Kayer here from buzzgadgets.com and uh, today in this video we've got another little terminal uh, trick slash tutorial, whatever you guys want to call it. And uh, today what we're going to be doing is taking your background on your Mac computer and uh, replacing your uh, still image with a screensaver. So if you're looking at my screen right now, you'll see the little dots kind of changing colors and populating and uh, depopulating or, <laughs> you know, just kind of all over the screen. They're, they're removed, being removed and added. So this is one of the default um, screensavers that will come with the Mac. And what we're going to do is in the terminal, we're just going to add a line of code and um, change it. Change it from the still image to the screensaver. So without further ado, let's get into this. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start fresh. So I'm just going to close terminal here completely uh, and uh, just close it. So now I am back to my still image. So now what we're going to do is actually go ahead and go to Finder and open up Terminal in the Applications folder. Uh, inside the Applications folder, you'll see it in the Utilities folder. Um, scroll down uh, and you'll see the little terminal icon there. I'm going to enlarge it here so you guys can see a better picture of it with the greater than sign and the underscore. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and open that up and I'm going to actually close Finder there. So now when you open it up, you actually get presented with pretty much this. It's basically a command prompt um, from what you'll see uh, on Windows if, if you haven't used a Mac for a while. Um, but this is what this is like their version of command prompt. Um, so now what we're going to do actually is I'm actually going to go to my system preferences and select a screen server that I want to use as my background because I don't want to use the same one that I just showed you guys. I want to try something else now, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and open that up in my system preferences, go to desktop and screensaver. And on the screensaver tab, you guys see this is what I have selected. So whatever uh, whatever um, screensaver you have selected is what's going to appear um, as your background. So uh, I, want to, I want to find something cool, you know? Uh, nothing, nothing weird, but something cool. How about we do one of these... Uh, yeah, actually, I think I'm gonna try a Cosmo. That one looks pretty cool. You know, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, leave that alone and save this. Now back to terminal. Now that I have it set, I'm gonna go back to terminal. And now, if you really don't want to type this code out, I'm actually gonna put it down in the description. And if you want to go ahead and copy and paste it, you're more than welcome to. However, if you do uh, type it out, I want to kind of point out: make sure all the capitalization is just like it's supposed to be, as command prompt is um, case sensitive. So the first thing we're gonna do is put a uh, slash there. Then we're gonna put system, another slash, library. And uh, before I move on, uh, I want to tell you guys um, the first part we're going to type in is we're, we're trying to root into the directory of where the screensaver is stored. So it's a little lengthy. So again, if you guys don't want to type it out, you're more than welcome to copy and uh, paste it. Frameworks screensaver dot framework slash resources slash screensaver engine dot app slash contents slash mac os slash screensaver oops engine now we've got the typed out don't hit enter yet now we've got to put a space bar uh, put a little minus sign and background now before I hit enter I'm gonna explain this one more time here uh, basically what I have highlighted here is telling a terminal um, to go into this directory and find this file called screensaver engine. Obviously, it's not going to be able to find it with that by itself by searching it. We're going to have to tell it where it is, and that's what this very lengthy part is doing. Now, the second part here, where the minus, uh, where the dash and the background is, it's telling it to set it as my background. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And as soon as I hit enter, you'll see the screensaver become your background, which is really cool. I mean, I really like this. Um, I've been using this for a little while now. I haven't noticed any uh, excessive memory consumption to where it will slow down your computer. It actually runs fantastic. Uh, now, the one thing is, is if you're using terminal to do this, you're going to have to re leave terminal running. If you close it, the, uh, background will, the background will revert back to your still image. However, um, while this is pretty cool, there are some uh, specially designed applications for this. 
Uh, I can't think of them off the top of my head, but a simple Google search will tell you what they are. Um, they've been d developed to uh, allow screensavers to be set as your background, so it's pretty cool. I really like this. Um, but this is just uh, a little trick I figured I'd show you guys. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm actually going to go ahead and close this out now. Uh, as soon as I close it out, uh, it's going to tell me that it's going to bash it and close and all that good stuff. But as soon as I close it, there's my still image, guys. So that's been about it. Uh, be sure to check us out at buzzgadgets.com for the latest tech news and product reviews. Until then, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.